How we spend our free time says a lot about what we prioritize in our lives. And I've always struggled with free time. Should I be doing something productive with it? Am I spending enough quality time with the people that I care about? How am I going to accomplish my long-term goals if I'm not spending my free time working towards them? If you want to maximize your productivity in a day, it really comes down to having a why. Why do you want to be productive with your time? And how you define productivity may be different than how I define it, but it really helps to have a motivating factor to get you off the couch in the evening or help you wake up extra early to spend more time bettering yourself. My main motivating factor is to have financial freedom so that if my wife and I decide to have a kid or two, I won't be working nonstop and I won't be stressed about how I'm going to pay the bills. It'd also be great to focus on other things that I care about that I don't necessarily need to make money from. The truth is, for me, I often feel a need to be productive and make the most of my free time. Part of this is because of the career path I chose. I was super limited with my degree and it was gonna be hard to get jobs outside of the recording studio industry. So when I was working full time as a recording studio intern, I spent my evenings and weekends building up my skill set to open myself up to more job opportunities. The career path at the studio was pretty limited and I knew that it wasn't going to be something that I wanted to pursue. So I found a cool job opportunity at a cool startup, but it did require flash knowledge. Yeah, flash that program that those mid 2000s cool websites were using. So I spent my free time learning Flash and in about a week, I made an interactive Flash resume specifically for this job opening. I tried tracking this resume down to show you, but all I could really find were these graphics from my 2012 era website. And while I didn't get the job, I did manage to get an interview and among a sea of applicants who were probably more qualified than me because it stood out from the pack. And so I applied this going forward. So in the past, I had enjoyed doing some video editing on some personal projects, and I thought it might be cool to get a job as a video editor. So I made a video resume and embedded it on my website. While just mediocre and straight up embarrassing to look at now, it was enough to land me a job as a video editor at a video production company with zero work-related experience. So now I was finally making the big bucks, $20 an hour. But while at this job, I spent a lot of my free time learning motion graphics and After Effects. I knew that while the video editing job I had was good, I wanted to do something more than just edit corporate and small business videos. So I'd spend most of my weekend working on an array of different After Effects projects to learn the program. Like I made a lyric video for my band. Uh, yeah, it's just not good. <laughs> or I'd shoot in the alley behind my apartment and then track my logo into the footage. Just projects like that that helped me learn the software. In addition to teaching myself motion graphics, I wasn't quite ready to let that recording studio dream I had die. So I got a part-time job after my day job working at a recording studio. So a couple years later, I got another side job working for a real estate investor in the Chicago suburbs. So I leave my day job on Wednesdays at noon, drive out and work for him, and then spend one day on the weekend looking at houses. The point is I've always felt the need to do something with my spare time, like trying out another side hustle or another job. It wasn't until my last day job in 2016 where it was a pretty cushy job and I felt like I could actually take my evenings off and just play video games or whatever. But that really only lasted a few months. I started in October and then by January, Rachel and I had launched the channel Mango Street. Please hit the subscribe button below. Which then took up the rest of my free time. I think having some sort of side venture is just a part of who I am. I'm not sure if it's particularly healthy or not, but it's worked out for me thus far. Even though most of these side hustles didn't really bring me any extra income for the most part, it did add to my experience and help expand my skill set. So a lot of you were interested in knowing how I spend my time, so I thought I would break down my average day. And now I'm fortunate to be working from home with my wife and our two dogs, but just know that it wasn't always this way. It took a lot of work during my downtime to get to this point. So before I get to my actual day, here's an overview of what I've got going on. Rachel and I run Mango Street, where we put out one video every Monday. I also run this channel, where I try to put out one video every Monday. I also trade stock options on a pretty regular basis. This is just a hobby for me and a fun way to make a little extra money. I also make music, which is a creatively fulfilling hobby for me. Do I look okay? Mm -hmm. I release songs on Spotify, then also have them available to license out for people to use in their videos on a site called Artlist. So those are the things I have going on, so let's dive into how I divvy up my day doing them. When I am actively trading stock options, I wake up 15 minutes before the market open, which here on the West Coast means I get up at 6.15. I'm definitely not a morning person, so if I don't have to actively manage trades or just don't feel like trading that day, I'll sometimes hit the snooze and go back to bed for another hour or two. 
I did that today. From 6.30 to 8, I usually keep a close eye on the market. And I'll usually get in a couple of cups of coffee during this time. Then I usually take a break to eat some breakfast. I usually hang out with Rachel and watch some TV while we eat for about 30 minutes. So, house hunters? 8.30 to 11 is a flex time of sorts. I'll trade stock options or monitor the market for any opportunities. Or if it's a slow day in the market or I'm not in any trades I need to keep a close eye on, I'll usually start work. This could mean one of a few things and it all depends on what I feel like doing or if I have any tight deadlines that will dictate what I do. But between this channel and Mango Street, this usually means video editing. I've been a video editor for many years and while I am really fast at editing, the standard YouTube video takes me between 10 and 14 hours to edit. If I don't have any video editing to do or just don't feel like it, I'll start planning out new videos, researching topics, outlining videos, etc. I also handle emails at this time. I also respond to comments and maybe waste some time scrolling Twitter. Around 11 a.m. I usually get some exercise in. Since gyms in our area have been closed for quite some time, this means working out from home. I don't super enjoy working out, so I try to find something that is quick and effective, usually a cardio and usually one for my wife's fitness channel. That's it, 20 minutes and I'm done. After the workout, I'm always too sweaty to sit down and work, so I often sit with the dogs while I cool down. Then I'll hop in the shower and be out around noon for lunch. I don't like spending a lot of time making lunch and I haven't yet hopped on the meal prep bandwagon, so I usually just make a sandwich or a salad. If it's a nice day out, I like to sit in this chair with the window open, enjoying the LA weather. But it's been hot and covered in wildfire smoke lately, so then I usually just end up sitting at the computer. The stock market closes at 1 p.m. here, so I usually keep an eye on the market at this time as well, either exiting or entering trades before close. From 1 until 3.45 or so, I really focus in on work. Now, this usually means video editing, but it could also be the researching, filming, or sometimes I have side projects going on for this channel that are more long-term, and so I'll work on those. This is a perfect example. It's 3.15 in the afternoon, and I'm filming for this video. Meta. Rachel likes to eat dinner early, and I usually cook for us, so around 3.45 or so, I'll make dinner. My desk is conveniently stove adjacent, so I can usually slip in a little of work while the food cooks. Once dinner is cooked, I'm generally not hungry at this time, so I usually go back to work or I'll sit with Rachel while she eats. Or if she has a lot of work to do, she'll go to her desk, I'll go to my desk, and we'll just power through. Once seven rolls around, I'm feeling pretty spent for the day, so that's when I break for dinner. We'll sit at the table and have deep, meaningful conversations. Or maybe we'll just watch Wheel of Fortune like a couple of senior citizens. For the next couple of hours, we'll just hang out with each other and relax. I typically like to squeeze in a little extra work before the night is over, so I take the dogs on their nightly walk, and that usually helps give me a second wind to keep going. The last hour before bed, I try to devote to a hobby. Often, I will take this time to work on music. If I can just get one song idea going at night, I can usually finish it up the next morning, and then I have one extra song that I can add to my catalog and start bringing me passive income. If I'm not in the music mood or feeling creative, I might spend some time researching the stock market, learning new strategies. If I really have very little energy at all, I might just sit on the couch watching YouTube videos about candlestick patterns. That way I'm still learning something new with very little physical effort. I truly function best when I can get as close to eight hours of sleep as I can manage, so I usually spend the last 30 minutes winding down. I'd like to tell you that I spend this time reading a book or journaling, but the truth is I don't. Sometimes I just watch trash reality shows on Netflix. Don't judge. So I usually get nine to 10 hours of work in on a typical day. Sometimes it's way more than that, sometimes it's less. Most weekends are somewhat similar, just everything gets pushed back about two hours because I like to sleep in. I also don't usually work as much on the weekends. Rachel and I might do some house cleaning or play a game or just hang out together. It all depends on what we have going on. Sometimes I slack off at the beginning of the week and then pay for it near the end of the week and the weekend, trying to get videos done and out the door 
Monday morning. Like right now, it's Friday afternoon. This video has to go out on Monday and I still have to finish up the Mango Street video. So it's gonna be a working weekend. But that's also one of the nice things about running my own business and working for myself. I can decide when and how I want to work. And usually if I really want a day off, I can manage to take one. All right, it's currently 11.03 on Saturday night. And I've been editing video all day. And usually I like to get everything done for the weekend so I can try to take some time off. That did not happen this week, but I'm staying up late tonight, hoping that I can finish, or at least come close to finishing these videos so that tomorrow I can at least have some time off before I start everything again on Monday. If you have a side business or a hobby that you wanna devote more time to, see if you can take 30 minutes before bed to focus on that. Or maybe you wake up 30 minutes early when no one is awake to bother you and you can focus on whatever your side hustle is. So as I mentioned, after dinner, sometimes I'm feeling tired and have a hard time getting off the couch, but simply walking around the block or getting up to do dishes usually gives me enough energy to spend at least 30 minutes to an hour working on music or learning something new. Now again, this is what works for me in my lifestyle. I don't have a nine to five job, I don't have kids. I'm lucky enough to work from home with my wife, but it all started with me learning a new skill in my free time. That's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.